Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith in the Black with the Weekend Vid here, and a lot of grindy grinders in spy just grinding toward the highs. Uh, this future stuff has been real tight, so you want to be careful on that, but uh, still new highs, and uh, it is what it is, just the grind closer to the two higher, so we'll see QQQ. Also grinding higher after that rev strat weaker here, and uh, so it is what it is, exhaustion risk. Apple went 312 on the weaker and then dried up. Uh, a couple inside days here to start off the week. Uh, if we go to the small cappers, still stuck, but uh, potential 222 on the daily to start off. And if that works, uh, trying to work that inside month, but you can see it sideways for months and months and months. Really need to get out of there. Uh, if we go to TLT, just starting off, uh, still the inside month that needs to break. Uh, if we go to VXX, still just bleeding out like VXX is due. If you go to the Dow Jones Diamonds, really drying up here. And the Diamonds here on the weekly, slight higher high, two weeks inside of here. So you really want to be careful uh, with the Dow Jones. It's really just doing nothing, sideways grind. Uh, if anything, you do have Cat going inside, inside week. Like so, but big distance not being inside month. So just be aware of that. There's your weeklies. Uh, if we go to Nike, and Nike, nice reversal here. 212 down and then the 212 weekly and so far that sets up this here your 22 month to the downside 164 20 you're there now uh, if we go to unh still be inside month but uh, we can keep an eye on this weekly uh, would be rev strat week to the upside here or centene with that and we can watch uh, johnny john here closer to 22 reversal back up on the week uh, if we go to the transports Oh boy, stock right in here, and that gives you all your airlines still just stock, like American and all that kind of stuff. Inside week, so those months need to break because uh, we have a lot of inside months in the airlines they haven't broken yet. If anything, you got the rails uh, coming in. CSX monthly, two down, two up. If, if this can break below 3170, gets our attention because you got Norfolk Southern breaking below this. Not quite an inside month. Took out the lows, but you're taking out last month's lows. And Union Pacific here also trying to take out that last month's low. So we'll see. Uh, FedEx, uh, you know, FedEx has been giving it up for months. And now, if anything, it got potential rev strat week. Three, one, two, potentially back up. but have to take that high out here. FedEx above 268.98. Uh, if we go to XLU. And XLU, not too exciting, but still trying to get out of this thing here, the pandemic range. Uh, getting closer, though, so you uh, trying to walk up there. We'll see it you know, when they rotate into defensive posture every once in a while. We'll see how that goes. If you go to gold, still watching this Rev Strat mount above 170, 140. It ticked above it and then came back in a little bit. Uh, the, the issue here is going to be the that like GDX and stuff, they're nowhere near taking out last month's high. So be aware of that. The miners uh, nowhere near doing that. So we'll see if gold kicks in. If you go to the financials, FAS stalls out after last month's three, two, two into the highs. So not too much going on over there. JP Morgan uh, still seeing if you can get to the highs, but you got an inside week here to work on. Uh, if anything, you've got Wells Fargo in trouble here after last week's weakened down which triggered the rev strat month one two two and now you got a couple inside days to start off the week uh if we go to um capital one capital one for last week's inside week and down boom back to previous range of potential rev strat month or if you can take this out one two up two down would be below 155 45 you got a little bit more room on that xle Still inside month, so we're going to see how many of these things can two up if they can get there. No IH, the same. You can see that still stuck. So if those two can kick in, that would be something. If anything, they're coming after some secondaries and names like Apache. And that's hammer above 1962. COG kicked in above 1650. So a nice little move, and it's been higher in the past. Uh, EQT. Also, got some more room to take these guys out. I'm a 2 2 reversal month. LPI doing it. And you got a big outside month in here to go after here, too. That could be good. And you're starting off the week as an inside day. Uh, if we go to RRC, 
There we go, 2-2 months are to the upside. WLL here, the same. XEC. And then the refiners having some problems, issues here. Still inside monthers, but HFC goes inside week, and you can see if any of those inside weeks get those refiners going anywhere. We go to XRT retail. Stock in here. <laughs> Stock. And so really need to uh, break that month here to get anything going out of that as a group. Costco just keeps piling into the highs, as you can see. More exhaustion risk. And Target. Starting to come in now a little bit. Target was nice. Now in the monthly, two up, two down, below 244.40. You're there right now by just a little bit. Uh, if you go to the Walmart, and the Walmart, she's got some more room for all-time highs. And the week, closer to a two down, two up, over 149.64. Uh, if you go to AutoNation, see this. Two up, two down in the month below 108.72. You're there now. Abercrombie uh, coming down for the last couple months, and now you do have a 3 1 on the week. So there's your try to get out of, and now you 3 1 weaker. If we go to Chewy, <clears throat> and Chewy after last week's downer holds a gap down and still dropping. And what that gives you in the month is the 2-2 two, two reversal month. Two up, two down, right? Back through this range. If you go to Deckers. Deckers just flirting with this here. 2-2 two, two reversal month below 412.94. You're there. Uh, if we go to Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree got hit on the week. Potential 3 two, 2 back up on the week after this tight range. So the question is, do they wipe out all the sellers in here and try and bring it back up? We'll see how that goes because it's new month. And that would be over 93.33. So you got a little bit more room. Uh, if we go to GameStonk, GameStonk would be a shooter down. 2-2 two, two reversal on the week below 198.84. Go to Nordstrom's, still just dropping like a rock. And the thing about Nordstrom is it's, it's been lower. So I'm taking out last month's lows, 3-2 to the downside. If we go to RL, RL would be a 2-2 reversal month to the downside, below 113.98. Just a little bit more room on that. Go to Ross Stores. And Ross Stores, inside month to the downside, below 117.24. Go to the IBB. It's trying to creep its way back up into the highs. Uh, here's your daily. So we'll see inside day. So you can take these guys out. Not seeing too much there, but to EXAS is EXAS potential rev strat month above here. 110.05. Got a little bit more room. ILMN. ILMN on the week. Here, potential rev strat weaker, 312 above 471.10. And Jazz Farm, after getting pummeled, now trying to come back on the new month would be rev strat weak to the upside. Inside bar, two down, and then two up over 137.36. If you go to Tech, XLK just grinding into the highs and then stalling out <laughs> like a lot of things. And we know that's Apple and Microsoft. Microsoft gives you the inside week. Been drying up here a little bit itself inside inside week. Uh, if we go to Facebook, Facebook just going into the highs. So exhaustion risk up into here. So get my attention on either side of uh, last week's range. Amazon still trying to fight back on the month. Just kind of stalls out here. So you've got above 34.7258. So you're above that, and the good thing for it is to start off the week, you got your corrective activities, and you're closer to the 2-2 reversal on the daily here over 34.82.67 to start the week. If you go to Netflix, just exhaustion going into the highs and then stalling out. So here, weekly, had a nice week, though, and that's good. But uh, And you go into the highs <clears throat> and potentially stall out. Uh, if you go to Google, 
Gook stalling out after last month's run, so I'd have to take out either side of last week's range to get my attention. NVIDIA. Momo Hammer, which is also like SMH, so we'll see if that uh, helps drive that. If you go to Autodesk, Autodesk last week's 3-2 was nice slammer, which kicks in the 2-2 month back down. Uh, so we'll see how much more we got out of that. If you go to AMD, uh, you can see a good chance at an inside month, so be aware of that. And so when you start that inside bar, um, oftentimes price discovery starts over again, and here it is. This is your tight try in here, so if you're playing AMD at all, I'd keep an eye on this right here. Uh, if we go to APPN. Here, potential rev strat month one, two, and that'll be a two up over one seven one seventeen thirty five. You got a little more room on that. Coop still kicking in that three two two monther and watching this weekly broadening formation here. Uh, if we go to CRM, starting off the month as an inside week, either side of that. If you go to Cisco, also starting off as an inside week. PayPal on the month, potential 222 back up over 292.65. Go to Qualcomm if those semis do happen to come in. Not a lot of range on this, but uh, you would have a rev strat week to the downside. 122 below 144.23. If you go to Splunk, Splunk also giving you an inside week. And, uh, good thing for Spelunk is this thing's been a lot higher. So if it's the comeback is on, uh, maybe get your measured move, your upside is measured move out of Splunk. We go to VMW. VMW goes outside, inside 3 1 weekly, and so far holding this gap down. So we'll see if there's more pummeling to go on there. We go to VeriSign. And VeriSign on the month, potential 2 2 monther. Or should say it is already 217.98. You're there right now. Uh, if you go to uh, just a few more, Big C, and Big C would just be Rev Strat week to the downside, one two below 58.81. I'm just a bill, <laughs> Momo Hammer, and so we'll see if they want to power these guys anymore. Uh, if we go to DraftKings. Inside week for the potential measured move. Up, sideways measured move. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you look at AMC, also an inside week for the apes. <clears throat> um, LVS and the pandemics. Trying to take this hammer out on the month. But then backs off. So the question is, is it going to keep coming down and go three? Or is it going to re-break that? So on the weekly, you're closer to a 2-2 reversal back down. You can watch that with win and... Uh, Win and all the other pandemics like Marriott's and EXPEs and all that kind of pandemic names of the world and RCLs and CCLs and all that kind of stuff to see how they want to play those. If you go to LYB, inside week to the downside, and that triggers this. Come on. Two down, two up, two down. Below 96.41, you're there right now. You go to NTNX. Revstrat month, the upside takes care of business out of these three guys, but this has also been higher in the past, and it does hold a gap like so. If we go to PPG, PPG, two up, two down, um, two down, two up, two down on the day, and what that did, take care of business on an inside week to the downside, which triggers the inside month to the downside below this. 158.68. We go to Tesla's. Tesla's still kind of drying up here, but trying to work its way up slowly, grinding its way back. Um, and if anything, on the daily, might have stopped all these guys out. And you got a 2-2 reversal hammer potential to start off the week. It's still tight range is for Tesla. So we'll, like always, let them open. Uh, that's going to do it for this week. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith of the Black.